Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 19th of July, and we've got some specific tasks today, updating the Jenkins Jumbotron. Reminder that we abide by the Jenkins Code, code of Conduct as we work together. So let's look at what this is gonna do. We're going to, rem so the Jumbotron looks like this. It is this panel at the bottom of the screen that automatically scan, skips through a series of images showing various highlights and it does that on a time basis. Well, the contributor awards are done, nominations have concluded and the awards have been given. She Code Africa Contributhon is done. Uh, Jenkins is the way is still live, but CDCon is also done uh, and we still want participate. Now we'll need to add DevOps World announcement and we'll remove CDCon, SheCode Africa, and the contributor awards. So that's the goal is remove, remove some of those panels and add a panel for DevOps world. So let's do that just with the development environment. Uh, let's see, and what we're looking for is something called Jumbotron, I think. Okay, so here we see some hints. There's Docker and pipeline. Okay, solutions, partials. So let's take a look inside that file. No, that's not it. So let's find some text that we can search for, right? Mentoring women. Okay, mentoring women in Africa. Maybe that will help us. Okay, there we go. That's the file. Okay, so this is the Jenkins homepage. And here are the entries for the, what's called the carousel. And it's going to, it defines, this is um, Ruby code inside, inside the um, HTML page, it's a Haml page. And so the first entry is the Jenkins 2021 awards. So let's remove it. Okay. Now let's see if it worked. So what this is going to do is this will run the, the site interactively so that I can open it uh, and look at the site to see, to navigate it, to see how my development site looks compared to the production site. So here's the development site or the production site. And we see that it's got the first page here is the Jenkins Contributor Awards. Now, if I open that computers port 4242, oops, it's not ready yet, huh? Let's see if we can get it ready. I'm on the right computer. Here we go, oh, whew, there we go. Okay, notice that now the first panel is no longer um, Jenkins Contributor Awards, it's She Code Africa Contributhon. So I can commit that. If we look at the differences, what we'll see is there's the block that's been removed, Jenkins 2021 Awards. Um, they were going to be announced. They've been announced. Congratulations to those who received them. Really great. Remove Jenkins Contributor Awards from Jumbotron. Congratulations to the award winners. Okay. Now we need to do the same thing for the SheCode Africa Contributhon. It's also complete. And we'll just do that. Remove SheCode Africa Contributhon from Jumbotron. 
now my running environment is still running and it will detect when I reload it that the page has changed, it should anyway. And now it's down to only three panels. Jenkins is the way, CDCon, and participate and contribute. Okay, that was easy. Now let's bring back, so here we've got, this is the Jenkins is the way panel. We're going to reuse and just change CDCon to be DevOps world. Okay, and we need a URL for DevOps world. Hello, Meg, welcome. Hi, Mark. Sorry, I was just rambling on and I'm, I was oh, just I'm planning to continue to make this good. go ahead. I'm watching and learning. All right, so, so now the next challenge then is we need to find a URL for DevOps world. And I think, yeah, this is probably a good one. We just used there that registration URL. What do you think, Meg? Is that a reasonable choice for the? I think the... it looks good. Yeah, that's where they want to go. There okay. is stuff below if they want to know more about it, right? Right. There certainly is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wait a sec. Though maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we want to take them to the information rather than nope, nope. That's not it. So registration looks like it is the thing. Well, roll down underneath. I think there might be links or something to other. Yeah, they tell. At least they tell you what it is. Watch and there's video. a video you can watch. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yep. Okay. So let's just go ahead and we'll make that the link. Yeah. Okay. And and we have confirmation that there will be a Jenkins Contributor Summit. So DevOps World on, and now we need to get the dates. September 28th to the 30th, I believe. September 28th through 30th. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so now and is that description same same as for CDCon? Oh no, yeah, we've oh. got to take that out. And all right, so now we'll take this out. Full day contributor summit, and I think the full day contributor summit is the day after. And since that's thirty days have September, October, that, October, October one. Sounds like it. Yeah. Okay. All right, join Jenkins at DevOps World, September 28th, 8th through 30th, 2021. Okay, um, I was just going to take text from this and paste it in there. Sounds because good to me. I assume that's reasonable description. Okay, there we go. And now we have uh, maybe what we should note here is inspiring keynotes. And rather than saying the last phrase, which is exclusive product demos, uh, Jenkins um, uh, maybe let's see, what if we just leave it that? Okay. What do you think? What are they? Let me go look at what they're saying. I mean, I'd something about learning what's new and coming in Jenkins and um, um, I also okay. just saw you have a, they have a call to action and that's where the registration was. Okay. And what you're editing, right? And so we need something else, find an information. Uh, www.devopsworld.com is, let's see loading slowly. 
building the future of software to delivery together. Chance to get inspired by experts and your peers and gain the tools you need to shape the future of software delivery at your organization. Where did you find that text? That's a thing of beauty. DevOpsWorld.com. DevOps. So I don't know, do we want to quote it exactly because we're going to give them the link? I think well, I, oh, that hey, should that's, be your slides XREF actually should be to devopsworld.com. I agree. That's a much and then, But don't choice. lose that. Copy that URL down to the call, of act, call to action link. Right, right. Exactly. So there we go. Devopsworld.com. Looks like that. Okay, and then the, the call to action is the register for DevOps world. Okay, and you said there was. And that was the URL you used to have up there. Right, it is. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and that's it. Okay, I was looking away. Now, did I. Caters to the full DevOps ecosystem and brings together thought leaders, practitioners, and community contributors from around the world, providing attendees the opportunity to learn, explore, network virtually and transform the future of software delivery together. All right, that's a oh. lot of words. Let's bring that in and we'll see how it looks. There's a reason why we get to look at this and see how it looks right. if it's because there's a there's only a certain amount of text that will fit into the panel. Right. So now let's go try that. Well, and... we're linking to this page, so we don't want the same text anyhow. Right. Okay. So here's Jenkins.io still doing what it does. And here is the new page. Jenkins is the way. CDCon. Oh, oh. Okay. So apparently this is one of those things where I may have to recompile. Ah. Sometimes you have to make again. Okay, now let's see how it looks. Jenkins is the way. Whoops, no, come on. I know that I, okay, what did I do wrong here, Meg? Okay, so DevOps world and participate. And well, why are we seeing the CD com stuff still? You got rid of Yeah, that. exactly. What mistake have I made? Um, that, do you need to clear a cache or something? Do you have something buffered? Could that, be. But but we already saw it before. We saw it with CDCon gone. That was not it. I want this. Okay, so. Huh. So it successfully deleted pages. Okay, maybe we got to do something more even than just... Add uh, DevOps world to Jumbotron. Okay. Committing something, we'll go back and fix it later if we need to. But why didn't my recompile actually recompile it? Is there a problem here? Oh yes, there's the problem. Okay, it's telling me there's a bug. Oh, an error occurred. Okay, so now I need to go fix my mistake. Okay, what mistake did I make? Okay, so. You think with all this mistake, technology, you can figure out what you meant to do. Yeah, well, and oops. Okay, here's the one. So the case study, single quote, whoops. Single quotes, yep, they're match. Single quotes, yep, double quotes, yep. I thought it was a curly bracket that was unmatched. Yeah, just a minute. Source expand link. Text more info. Oh, oh, there it is. Shame on me. Okay. Quote your strings at both ends. Uh-huh. Hey, okay, let's try it again. And read your compiler output. Uh -huh. See, it's been a few years since I wrote any C, Meg. 
It's like riding a bicycle. It is. It's it's much easier than riding a bicycle. Actually, that's very good. Okay. And if you screw Let's... up, you don't get a skin knee. <laughs> okay. See, notice that that's is pretty long. Okay, and we oh we we need to fix the image. We have no picture, and that's a problem. So let's fix the picture first, because let's see the picture. Oh right, because I mentioned a picture, but the picture that a picture in fact does not exist, and I don't know if it will even be called that. Let's see. Let's go find it. Okay, so that thing should go to content and then it's, oops, not that. It should go to there and then this one, I think. should not be JPEG, it should be PNG. We are not changing the file format. Okay. Okay, so it didn't save much, but save something. Okay, so DevOps content. Okay, good. So we've got a picture now. Now let's try the build again. Let's see how it looks. So this won't fix the text. All this is going to fix is the is put a picture into the jumbotron. Right, but then we can see the size of the text compared to that. And we know how much we need to clear out. Okay, there we go. All right. There. Okay, now that. I should have left the CDCon one in place so we had a, a reference to compare it. Let's put the CDCon one back for a moment. Okay, so we're going to add temporarily add CDCon so we have a comparison. And it did it, automatic reload for the win. Okay. okay, notice the size of that one. They look, actually they look about the same. Okay, so it's it's not as bad as I thought, except for the gargantuan text. Right. So we've got too much text for DevOps. Work. Right, can you go back? I wanna read what it has for CDCon again. Okay, Jenkins, so what it says for through. CDCon. Join Jenkins at CDCon on June 22 through 25. It is focused on improving the world's oops, capacity to deliver software with security and speed. Become part of the conversation that drives CD by meeting peers, sharing ideas on software delivery and DevOps. We also have a full day contributor summit on June 25. So that whole, that same description would almost apply to DevOps world, but so we, want to, we want to make it sound different, right? What, right. tell, actually, in your own words, what is the difference between CDCon and DevOps World? Well, so CDCon is looking at the, the big picture across multiple open source projects, whereas DevOps World is looking at open source and commercial products quite heavily. Okay. So there's a, there's a much stronger commercial presence at DevOps World and therefore much many larger enterprise customers tend to be there, et cetera. Right. And that probably for the 
audience that comes to Jenkins IO that won't mean anything to them. Right, right. That's and they they that they will see that as as yeah, gee, is that relevant to me? So, all right, right. let's but let's let's work work the text just as you said. Okay, so working the text. Okay, let's, I would start out instead of saying it is, say this virtual event. Okay. Let's put that up front. All right, well, so, so I, oh, so you're just going with the CD context. Well, See, no, I'm, right, well, I'm going right. back to, okay. Say so right now it says, it. join Jenkins at DevOps World, September 23rd, 28th through 30th. Okay, oh, there, we don't start with it there, I'm sorry. Okay, um, this virtual conference or virtual event feature will have, or features 100 sessions delivered by the... Um, okay. So I was thinking, what if we deliver, what if we delete that that I think sentence. that can go, yes. I like agree. That. Now, okay. do do most geeks like the inspiring keynotes? I have no idea. Let's let's see how it looks and then we'll decide. Okay, so at least they are roughly the same size. Right. I don't like that um last line. I don't like the way the last line breaks. Oh right, the dangling, the dangling yeah. one there is no, no, yeah. Good. But okay. So let's, so let's simplify look at, text. Wait. Well, no, wait, wait, let's go see what it says. Okay. And uh, so, okay. If you do longer. Um, this is all it's song dance and pom poms. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if the inspiring keynotes should be replaced by something something effective you can learn learn new skills or that this is oh don't it's not right learn new skills and get information about um the direction that devops is going or something oh, that's lousy cool okay so right. how but about you know that conceptually <coughs> let's give them a hint that there are going there will be some very good technical sessions here what if we what if we highlight today workshops we'll... what if we highlight workshops and product demos oh yeah now there's also yeah we could also use um share best practices get hands-on experience and make new connections that's good too okay so how about this we'll Share best practices, get hands-on experience, and make new connections in the industry. Um, I would oh. make that we will. Oh, right. Um, okay. And then when the next sentence can't begin, we will. Right. Okay. So um, how about come, share best practices, get hands-on experience, and make new connections? Yes, that's good. And to give us more, a little more space. We will also, yeah. I, okay, so we will also have feels like a weak start to the sentence. So that will actually agree. let's look let's look at how that how it looks on screen first. Just yeah. a minute. Okay, so CDCon looks like that. That's still a little too much text. Notice that it's falling below the slide. Right. Um how about if we take the 2021 out? Let them infer the year. True. Oops, wrong one. This one. Okay, infer the year. So and join us at DevOps World, September 28th through 30th. Over 100 sessions delivered by. What if we lost that 100 over 100 sessions that just said come share best practices? 
Oh, okay, oh, okay. let's start. see that. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Good, okay, like this. Okay, now, how does that look? Yes. Now, actually we could, what I'm thinking is that sentence, we could put it, so come share best practices, get hands-on experience and make new connections with, um, thought leaders, practitioners, and community contributors. So oh, that's too bad. Ooh, ooh, very good. Yeah, okay. Practitioners, practitioners, and community, what was the phrasing again? Um, community contributors from around the world might be too long okay, and now that will probably be too big let's try it yeah. and see not not too far off um, you, except that October 1st thing exactly but but that we can I think we can resolve by reducing that sentence that we didn't like much anyway uh, after the conference ah Join the contributor summit. Anyhow. Yes. October first. Yeah, and we don't need to tell them it's full day. Okay, now we look. Still a little too long. Um. How about instead of using a comma? What if we drop the phrase after the conference? You know what? Wait a second. Go back to the top. I don't like the line feed in the first line either. Line feed in the first line. Okay. We're getting 28th and 30th on separate lines. Oh, oh yeah. That is awkward. Okay. So yeah. now how do we do a non-breaking dash? I don't know how to do that in Hamel. That's an interesting Well, and question. then you'd break it. Um, you know what? Go back and look at it. The artwork has the dates on it. We need the date for the contribute sign, but we don't need the date for DevOps World. It's right there on the picture. Non-breaking hyphen in HTML. Okay, here we go. This is the one we need. Yeah, we don't need it. Yeah. Wait a sec. You say we don't need it? Tell me again. I'm gonna. I'm willing. Look at your picture. It says 2021 virtual event, September 28th to 30th. Uh huh. I just say join Jenkins at DevOps World. Oh, but but my logic there was I'm not sure how I would put uh, text, visible text on or readable text, screen readable text onto that image. No, no, so no, no. That, I'm saying that because that image is there, your text doesn't need to tell them it's September 28th to 30th. Right, but I'm worried that our blind readers won't be able to deduce what the date oh. is. Um. How about how about let's let's simplify a little bit. Of course, we're Jenkins. Join us. Ah. Not use us. <laughs> that okay. is it. That's that's at least closer. Now, how does it look if we size ourselves to different screen sizes? Okay, so let's look at 640 by 480. It does this. Okay, it's a little funky, but is it any worse than CDCon? Nah. Uh, no, I don't think it's any worse, right? You know what, that exclamation point looks a lot like a one. I wonder if we'd be better off with just a period. Ooh, after ooh, yes, dates. yes, very good. Absolutely. For both dates, I'm... We don't need to be shouting anyway. Right. Very good. I mean, we're excited, but not that excited. That's, this is, this is just good note and good information for them. We're okay. not 10. Did I just put a number in? 
Yeah, okay, so here we go. All right, Let's reload. Okay, join us at DevOps World, September 28th through 30th. Come share best practices, get hands-on experience, and make new connections with thought leaders, practitioners, and community contributors from around the world. Join the Contributor Summit, October 1. Um, okay, so that- I like that. Okay, I want more words around, uh, around we're also hosting How about the Jenkins Contributor Summit? Ah. Let's see. Now, now to see if that just destroyed it. Okay. I just uh, don't need a um, comma. So the Contributor Summit, really, we're not trying to attract new people too. We just want people who are already involved in contributing to show up, right? Um, actually, we would love to have new people as well. We had we had some very interesting new people join us for the last contributor summit. Ah, what I'm wondering is if we should give them a little phrase about what's going to happen at the contributor summit, ah, or okay. why they would join, or right. Um, so so how about this? Join us at the, join the Jenkins contributor summit October one to. Um, Def to how do Help we say define. it to define and refine the uh, future of Jenkins? Yeah. Do you want to help define or just to define? Uh, help us define yeah. the future. Okay. How does that look now? So let's reload and go big enough to see it. Okay, so we're a little long in the text now. But I, li I like it better than ending with the date. Right. I think it looks good. Okay, so. Yeah, see, it's a, see, it's notice how it's changing size depending on which image, which is for me is a bad sign. I would mm. much rather all of them stay the same size as they scroll. Need let's find some words to remove. Okay. What come, if we uh, come join us at DevOps World of uh, comma to share. Yeah, it gets rid of come, please. Oh, okay. Very good, okay. Um, I was thinking, what if we dropped from around the world? Let them infer that. Oh, okay. I mean, I like around the world, but I like having the text stay consistent size right. even more. Okay, let's, or the, let's see. So now, still a little too large. Okay, let's go back. But. To but we're only one word away from fitting. Okay, so. You know what else up in the middle, there's a couple of places where if we got some shorter words in there. Okay, the good. Words, see the wrapping there, we've got a whole lot of, we've got, there's almost a semicircle that's blank up in the middle. Right, okay, so join us at DevOps World to share best practices, get hands-on experience and make new connections with What if it was? Oh, how about this? What if we change skills? this? Help, help oh. define the future of Jenkins at the October one contributor summit. Aha! Uh -huh. A little shorter. Yes. I don't know if it's actually any shorter. Okay. Okay, no jumping. So I think that got that size at least short enough. Okay. Um, can I get no? The we we got we stole the share best practices, et cetera, et cetera, from what we're linking to, right? We did correct. Um, what if we just said, uh, to, I mean, best practices is not just it to to enhance your skill, to learn more, 
like share best practices and get hands on experience could almost be combined into a learn something, couldn't it? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, well, we could, I mean, we could do a different, we could say for workshops, yep. demos, and presentations, and just keep it. Although simple. we did, with that, then we do lose the make new connections. Ah, oh, all right. Well, what if we did this? But. Yeah, that would actually work. And now how long is that? That's still that's still not longer, right? I know, let's see. Let's see if it squares the tech. Oh, oh no, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. Okay, join us at DevOps World September 28th to 30th for workshops, demos, and presentations. Make new connections with thought leaders, practitioners, and com community contributors. Go back to the wait a second. Help to find the future of Jenkins at the October 1 contributor summit. Can you um, try switching practitioners and thought leaders? Oh, oh, good. That, Using that third line is short. Right, see right. If that will Doing a better job of layout. Out. Okay, good. Years of writing in TROF where you could really, you could you could do full typesetting games. Yeah, I'm. I am not ready to go tech. Or T Roth. Okay, so there we go. yeah, that that does lay out better. Nice. Yeah. I'm not recommending that anybody goes to T Roth, although I still love it. There's a group <laughs> of people who still maintain it at or G Roth. Uh huh. Sure. A yeah. small group of I think mostly older people, but. Okay, so here it here it is at 1024 by 768. That looks good to me. I don't have any complaints about that. Let's look at it at uh, 1280 by 960. That still looks just fine. Okay, let's shrink down to phone size now, 800 by 600. And it did the layout vertically. And I it think that's bad. still okay. And the register yeah. button, does it work? Uh -huh. Oops, come on. Okay, it does, good. And if I click the picture, does that take me to the registration? It does not. Why not? If I click that picture, okay, it didn't either. Why not though? Is there a way to make that picture go somewhere? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, any any other, hey, let's no, do this, think, let's do this. I think I like it. Okay, so I need to get a screenshot. Let's do a screenshot at 1K by 768. So give me a picture. Okay, now we're going to edit because in order for the reviewers to do a good job of reviewing it, they need to be able to see it. Oh, that looks awful. Why does that look so bad? Oh, it really does look that bad. Okay, well, that 1K by 768 is not the best way to show it. We're gonna go one size higher. There, that's better, okay. Sorry, taking the, the picture again. So, and we need it on this one. Give me a picture. Okay, and I got the image, very good. All right, crop it. And we'll just crop this thing from here all the way up. Okay, there's the screenshot of how it looks on the, that's actually reasonably representative. It is. Okay, good. All right, so now, and I've got to, yeah, okay, good. We're set there. 
Okay, so you need to pull CD con back out. Remember, you put that back in. Oh, right. You're right. Absolutely. Now I need to pull CD con out and I need to commit my change. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at. There we are, okay, good. Hmm. Oops. Missing a picture in the commit. give it a correct branch name. Let's see, so add DevOps world to Jumbotron. Okay, so Okay, so here, I'm going to squash those two together and fix up that one. I'm not checking. Um, is the same um, commit or is the same PR removing the CDCon announcement? It is, yes. Is that so, common at some place if somebody goes back? And well, so what I'm going to do is list remove old um, out completed events from Jumbotron. And then okay. here I'll list those. That is uh, She Code Africa Contributhon. Uh, oops. Uh, let's see, the other was CDCon. And then um, what was the third? It was, uh, just look at it and see. Oh, contributor awards, right? Right. Okay. When do we add the October hackathon to this then? Um, the uh, Hack Hacktoberfest will probably not get added until August-ish. Okay. Because we've got to have some time to prep for it, etc. Okay, remove completed events from the Jumbotron. So how does it look? Here's what the log says. Add DevOps world and remove completed events. Okay, let's do one final check just to be sure that it looks the way we think it should. Sorry, Meg, that took most of the hour to get that done, but it is done now. I'm so, here just to learn, so I learned. Okay, here we go. And there is DevOps world. <laughs> I like it. Now, should we put it first? I was thinking that, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm about to cough and that will be rude. Okay, back to where we were. So. And uh, DevOps world first.
Okay, now that rebase again. Why do you have rest make file recipe run failed? Do you have an error there? Uh, oh, it was it was telling me that I interrupted it. Ah, oh, okay. We'll get over so yourself let's then. Do a make make run. So yeah, when I hit Control C to cancel uh -huh. that, it will say the it just say, say hey, the make failed, and it's correct because oh, I aborted interrupt. make. It does say interrupt. Yeah, exactly. Cannot load such file HTML compressor. Do you and that's it? also okay. That's a known thing. Okay. Here we are. First screen, DevOps world. Second, Jenkins is the way. Third, participate. Yeah. And the register link works. And why didn't... Oh, okay, good. And, and clicking the title text does take me someplace. Yeah, to devopsworld.com, right? Uh, right, exactly. Okay, so we are we are okay there. Though so seriously, I would really like that picture to take. Is there a way to make the picture image source expand link? It just seems like we should have a way to turn an image into a hyperlink. How do we do that? Make an HTML image a hyperlink. Just a minute. Okay, so they say, add a hyperlink to an image. Okay, so it is, that didn't help me. How to use an image as a hyperlink. Source equals with, oh, you just bracket it with, okay, so how would we, oh, I see, all right, so, hmm, I don't know how to do that. Okay, hmm. So if hmm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not ready to, to spend the yeah. time on it. So okay, so you're you think we're okay with the phrasing? I like it. Okay. All right. We Probably nobody the, else will read it as closely as we do. And that's all the better. That that would be a great victory. If it was so good that they didn't even feel the need to read it, they just look at the picture and click the register link. I'm delighted. Yep. Okay, so GHPR create. Where should we push it? Push it to mine. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, now let's go look at the submitted pull request to see that it looks okay. Okay, there it is. It is All right. running. And I am going to mention Alyssa Tong here. And Dirash Joda, here is the announcement that Stackscribe and I assembled during office hours. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Cool. Meg, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call us for tonight. I'll end the recording and upload it. Oh, come on. Oh, that's great. So stop the recording.